Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast for September 16th through the 22nd. We're going to pull cards from this deck for the week and then we're going to pull a crystal card for you from a crystal deck to see which card or which crystal might be good for Libras to work with in the coming weeks. So let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for September 16th through the 22nd. We're coming out of that um, pretty strong Pisces full moon energy. So we'll see how Libra's doing, how Libra's feeling with all that. And uh, see what your messages are for the week ahead. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, my darlings. So Monday, Tuesday, we have a victim consciousness. Now, Libra, don't get mad at me. <laughs> don't get mad at me that we're starting off the week with this card. And don't take anything as an insult, okay? Victim consciousness, uh, a lot of the times, you know, we hear it and we think that it's an insult. That, oh, you know, somebody's accusing you of being the victim or something. But you have to understand something. Victim consciousness, it comes from somewhere. People don't have it for no reason, right? Like people don't just wake up one day and go, oh, I'm a victim, like for no reason. That doesn't happen. Something happens to make you feel that way. And you have every single right to your feelings. So I feel Libra, like some of you might have people Monday, Tuesday, who are telling you, oh my God, Libra, like snap out of it, get over it already, be more positive. And it's not that easy. You know, it's not that easy um, to just basically uh, be like, okay, well, I'm going to look on the bright side or I'm going to think positively about things. It's not that easy to do that. So... Libra, I feel like because of the Pisces full moon we just had, there's something happening with the energy where you might be feeling a lot of your past. Your past is really coming up in your mind and people are telling you to get over it or people are telling you that it's been a long time that you felt this way and you know now is the time not to feel this way anymore. And I think Libra, obviously, nobody likes feeling sad. Nobody likes feeling hurt. It's not like you want to feel this way. But with this card coming up, it's inviting you to examine the ways in which you genuinely feel like a victim, right? The ways where you genuinely feel like there were circumstances that were not in your control or, you know, that you were treated unfairly or you did have some unacceptable things happen to you and give yourself some time in the beginning of the week to allow yourself to grieve those things, to allow yourself to say, I didn't deserve that. That wasn't okay. You know, it wasn't okay for someone to treat me this way or to have that experience, right? And realize that that you don't have to feel that it was okay that that happened. But also look at ways in which maybe you're safer now. And look at ways in which um, things might be better now or, or how things might be changing for the better, okay? So that's kind of like something that you're being invited to do at this time, to just kind of... Give yourself the right to your pain, right? I think this is one of the reasons why people don't want to quote unquote get over something. I don't like that term. I don't like the term get over something because it sounds harsh to me and it sounds careless. It sounds heartless. Okay, I don't like that term, but there's a reason why sometimes we have a hard time moving past something. Sometimes it's hard for us to let go of something and move on with our life because we feel like if we do, then somehow we're saying it's okay or somehow we're saying that, you know, oh, okay, well, you know what, it happened and it's okay now. And no, some things are never going to be okay that they happened. There's going to be some things, no matter how much time goes by, no matter what happens, it's never going to be okay that that thing happened. But don't spend your life in survivor's guilt, right? Don't spend your life in feeling guilty that you survived something or that you got out of a situation and other people did not, 
okay? Uh, be thankful for the life that you have and live that life and look for ways in which you can experience joy because you have the gift that you're alive right now and you're here, okay? You're here for a reason and, and allow yourself to be in, in gratitude of this. Um, you know, look for ways in which this experience can make you stronger and maybe help other people. So it's not an experience that goes to waste per se. Okay, um, so just some things to think about. Your Wednesday, Thursday card, Libra, is love. This came up for Pisces in the end of the week. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Pisces um, and maybe there's something happening between midweek to the end of the week and maybe there's a love connection between you and a Pisces that's happening or maybe you have Pisces in your moon or in your rising somewhere. I mean, not necessarily, but maybe. Uh, but overall, my darlings, basically what this is telling us is that there, there's going to be love at the heart in the center of your situation in the middle of the week. Now, those of you who watch my readings, you know, I try to keep the love subject separate from the weekly readings that I only like to do love for the monthly readings. But it's been coming up a lot for a lot of the different signs this week and I think it's because of that Pisces full moon. Pisces is very much a sign about love. So this might be some ways in which you're feeling uh, a victim. There could be someone that really hurt you in love. There could be someone or you might be having a hard time, you know, finding the right love partner because you feel like people cannot understand what you've been through or people act like, oh, well, you know, you need to heal so you can be in a relationship. So there could be your past experiences are making it difficult for you to experience love at this time or you loved very deeply and that's to someone who maybe was toxic or abusive or took advantage of it. So I feel like this is going to be a weak Pisces I mean, I'm sorry, Libra, 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 Libra. I feel like this is going to be a weak Libra where a lot of this stuff is kind of coming to the surface and you're being encouraged to let it out. You know, ride that wave, let it out. Don't push it back down because the sooner you let it out, the sooner you're moving towards higher levels of healing and you're opening the doors to very significant love. Okay, very significant love. Two is the number of partnerships, of faithfulness, of promises. Eight is the number of complete, complete eternal abundance. You know, you put them together, two plus eight equals ten. Uh, ten or one, you know, both are going to signify uh, a new beginning that's coming in. All endings are beginnings. So something is happening to open the door to a very, very powerful love for you all but it's coming in through this release so whereas a lot of people maybe felt the release um in the beginning part of the full moon i feel like you all are feeling the release coming into this week for some reason and just remind yourself of that and let it out as the things come up to the surface let them out because you're opening the door for love your friday saturday and sunday card libra is letting go. This is a very powerful, powerful, powerful uh, reading that's telling us, you know, it's time to let go. It's time to let go of the things that are no longer, um, you know, serving us, you know, and it even feels to me like even looking at this picture, she's letting go, but it also seems like a morning, right? We have like the dark figures in the back. We have the, the cross here on the stone. It almost feels like she's at a, at a grave site or a memorial place or a monument where she's mourning the passing of a person. And so there might be some times in your life that you're not going to be able to get back. There might be a relationship in your life that you're not going to be able to get back. Sometimes the hardest mourning we experience is when we mourn the living right? Um, it, sometimes like it can be uh, where you're in a relationship with a person and the person was like this um, sociopath or, you know, a narcissist or somebody who really fooled you into believing they were a very loving person. And then you get in the relationship and they change and they're a terrible person. And it's like, you're like, but what happened to the person I fell in love with? Like, they're nowhere, like I don't see them. And it's sad when you realize, wow, that person never existed. 
uh, essentially this individual created a personality you know pretended to be this other personality and I fell in love with this personality and this person doesn't even exist that's a very difficult thing to mourn that's a very difficult thing to mourn so um, I think that for many of you, it's just letting go of what you're realizing is not going to come to be. And we cannot let go without acceptance. So I feel that something is happening in the end of the week or you're really beginning to accept what is now. And when I say accept, again, it doesn't mean that it's okay. You're just accepting the fact that, okay, these are the current circumstances. And I'm going to see ways in which I can release certain things and, you know, mourn what I need to mourn and let go of what I need to let go of. Some of you are having issues with faith. Some of you are leaving uh, behind the faith. And, and that's very difficult for you. And again, Pisces had something very similar. So I do think some of you may have something happening with a Pisces where you're like, okay, this is it. This is like, you know, this, this connection is making me uh, ready to leave the past behind and change my beliefs. Some of you may have something like that happening. Not all of you, but some of you. Okay. Overall, though, Libra, this week is going to be about a week of letting go of the past, um, you know, getting rid of guilt, getting rid of anything you're feeling bad about, um, accepting what is in the present circumstances, and making room for abundance and love okay that's what that feels like to me so we're gonna see what your crystal what your crystal recommendation is here for the week what may be a good crystal for our libra friends to be working with oh my goodness and as always guys i encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others um also um if you want to know more about the cards that I'm using, I always have a link to the cards in the description of the video. So you can always check that out. All right, so here we're going to read this and then we're going to see which crystal is being recommended for you. You have clear thinking, release mind chatter, maintain courage and self-confidence, recognize your own intelligence, ease with problem solving, okay? So you might have some issues or things that you're thinking about or you're working out at this time and this is going to be a good crystal to help you with that clear thinking and you have fluorite fluorite's a beautiful stone and i'm gonna say one more thing here before we get into the affirmation part of it um uh fluorite is also really good for acceptance which to me I'm like, whoa, it just kind of, you know, blew me away right now. Um, when I was talking about acceptance in the end of the week. And also fluorite helps you to see that you're perfect as you are in this moment now, right? To let go of those uh, self-judging thoughts. Okay, so I want to say spiritually confirming that this is something that they're trying to help you with right now. The affirmation that's being given to you with the crystal recommendation is, I am smart. I am open to learning something new. I am organized. So if you want to pick up a piece of fluorite and, you know, practice this affirmation, it could be helpful for some of you. Again, if you watch your moon sign and rising sign videos, you might feel like that crystal is going to resonate with you more, whichever crystal they got. You might want to get a few crystals and do a few different affirmations or, you know, your moon or rising sign may resonate with you more. So I encourage you to check those out. If you want more details in the love aspect, Go ahead and click on the link for the love readings in the description. And if you want a private reading, go ahead and click on the Calendly link and you can schedule a reading there, my dears. Real quick, guys, there's a change in policy with people who are ordering readings. I know you guys get really excited about ordering a reading, especially when my calendar is pretty open or clear. Uh, people are like, oh my God, there's like available appointments and they're like, they're, they're in a hurry to book because I have had some people tell me that they were going to book and by the time they put everything in and they hit enter, someone else got that time slot and then they had to book a different time slot or they had to go farther out. And I'm sorry that that happens sometimes, but when you sign up for the reading and I ask you for the names and the date of birth and a brief background, I'm not asking because I'm nosy. 
Okay, I and I promise you, I'm not looking these people up. You don't have to give me last names. I just need at least a first name or a nickname and a date of birth because there's a lot of power in a person's name. I connect a lot with the person's name. So the name is important. Okay, the name is important. And then also the background, just one or two sentences. You don't have to feed me the details of the situation or the scenario, right? If you put love or if you put work, then I have to spend your time for your reading figuring out what's happening in love and what's happening in work. And you probably don't want so much of that. You want to know what's coming up ahead. And I can't tell you what's coming up ahead if I don't know what's happening now. And so I don't want to use the time that you're paying for to figure out your situation. So if you could tell me something like love, comma, should I stay in this relationship or should I go? Or love, been single for a while, trying to uh, find a relationship, I feel blocked. You know, whatever it might be. Or I'm having a hard time picking between, uh, you know, this person and that person. Work. Okay, what's going on with work? Have you been looking for a job for a long time and you're unemployed? Are you looking for a career change? Are you wanting to start a business? You know, just one, you know, one or two little points that are going to help me really be able to give you a good reading. So if I don't have that stuff, I'm going to start returning payments and canceling readings, taking them off calendar, and then you'll have to book again. Because when I'm doing the emails, it's it's too much. It's getting very confusing. It's backing me up. Instead of doing readings, I'm chasing people down, trying to get information. I have other people messaging me. Where's my reading? Why is it late? I can't do it, guys. I can't. I want to give you good readings. So if you can help me out and do that, I can hopefully get good readings out on time. All right, my dears? I thank you so much for liking, watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week, Libra.